But Toledo is seeing a jump in homicides. So far this year, Toledo has had 17 homicides. In 2020, a total of 62. But by this time last year, we only had nine. That was a big jump from 2019 when there were only 39 recorded homicides for the entire 2019. And by this time in 2019, there were just eight. All those numbers flying around and Toledo right now is outpacing 2020. And that was already a year that saw an increase in gun related deaths. Tonight, Emma Henderson speaking to the man hoping to make a difference this summer. Juwan Armour's been on the job now for 50 days. His job to combat gun violence in Toledo. Uh, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We don't have time before summer to do that. So uh, we want to make sure we can extend the reach of those who are actively participating in uh, redirecting the, the trajectory of, uh, of some of our youth. Mayor Kapsikavich announced Jawan's position in February. Jawan said from the start he needs 100 days to dive in. He says he wants to lift up the programs like Pathways, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and Harbor that are already doing good in their neighborhoods and build from there. There's been a, a huge demographic of kids who have just been lost in the process virtually. And so um, it's providing these resources and providing these act activities uh, to keep kids engaged, to give them something to do. The former pro football player wants to hit the issue from all sides. He says he knows what he's looking for when he hires a team of violence interrupters. People who can be at the scene of shootings to cool tensions and prevent retaliation. Armour also wants to start a social emotional learning program so kids are developing conflict resolution skills at school. It's a program that started in Atlanta and is now used in more than 40 states. Giving uh, people the tools to respond in a different manner. Uh, we have, you know, documented proof that behavior improves and violence is a result of, of actual behavior. Armour hopes that with the classroom approach, the violence interrupters and improving community programs, he can reduce the number of vigils and funerals he goes to held after each teen death on the streets. In Toledo, Emma Henderson, WTOL 11. And just a reminder, Armour is also holding his first neighborhood town hall this Saturday. It's happening at Scott High School.